So this is reporter Davis from Aving. And we are doing the pre-event meetup with company in Intern Pavilion at CES 2024. So I met Hubert from Uber Gizmo, who is the founder and the reporter of the company and the representative from representative from BY Innovation. So can we do the short greetings and introduction on each other? Yeah, I can start if you want. Uh, hi, I'm Hubert. I'm the co-founder and editor of Uber Gizmo. Um, I've been doing uh, tech reporting for more than 15 years, and I love uh, talking with innovators like yourself. So nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm um, Jiwon Jung from Korea and Viva Innovation. Um, I'm a backend de uh, developer at Viva Innovation, and I'm happy to introduce our product and also our service to you. And um, I'm very honored for you to um, report our products and services also. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so as we are ready, so we'll start with uh, first 10 minute presentation and then 20 minutes QA session after that. So please go ahead. Well, oh, hi. Um, as I as I introduce myself, my name is Jiwon Jung from um Viva Innovation, and I'm a backend developer at our company. Um, I am honored on behalf of our company to introduce our product and also our services. I and mean, as a backend developer, I have a throughout um, understanding of our system and also our product. So I'll be in charge of introducing you to our company. And please, um, excuse my voice. I just had a terrible cold, so. Um, well, the content. Okay, just, uh, thank you so much. Um, well, the contents. I want to start with um, introducing our company first. What kind of company we are? What kind of services that we have? So I'm gonna go on to service introduction. After the introduction, uh, we have various line of products, but the product that we are showing to see yes is a Kindoc solution product, which I'm gonna show you at the third pace path and also last what kind of vision and values that we are trying to um, give out to the world and how we are gonna try to change the healthcare market in the world. Well, first of all, um, for the introduction of our company, um, I'd like to introduce you to our company, Viva Innovation. Our company is a digital health company that connects users with hospital and, and assists post-health medical um, management, which utilizes healthcare checkups also known as health screening, data that are taken by individual users. Um, so we have approximately of 1.3 million people using our services annually and accumulated per partnerships with over 300 hospitals nationwide. Um, so um, you may not be uh, familiar with um, health checkups or screenings as much as we do in Korea. Um, this is the reason why our business is possible in Korea right now. Um, First of all, and the most importantly, the medical records that are taken all around Korea are being, di are being digitalized and also collected and also centralized by the government. And, and few selected and also certifi uh, certified companies and also groups are able to utilize this data um, into different kinds of solutions that can help our social and also our um, nation uh, worldwide um, to improve their healthcare market and also um, the citizens' health statuses. Um, that's why the government um, supports um, citizens' um, national checkups uh, every two years uh, free of charge. And by that, the citizens take annual and also regular checkups. And through the data that are collected from the annual checkups, we're able to um, collect them and also utilize them to, into a service. That's why the infrastructure of medical health checkup in Korea is well established which is empowering our system and also services to go on. So what kind of services that we are um, trying to show you? Uh, we have two main services that I can introduce you. The first one is the Kindoc platform. And the second one is the Kindoc solution, which is the one that we're trying to introduce you to um, in CES. <laughs> Um, there might be some question about what are the differences between the Kindoc platform and also the solution. 
Well, first of all, if, um, if I try to make you understand this, I would like to show you what the virtual circle that we are trying to have in the healthcare ecosystem that we are trying to make. Uh, first of all, um, the user and also the patient um, takes a medical checkup and also a health screening in a hospital or a checkup center. After that, the results are digitalized and also accumulated and also centralized by the government. After that, we utilize and also call the data from the um, database from the government and we personalize it and also centralize it in the device of the user and the patient, which can be a mobile phone, phone to a PC, to an AI robot, which also we have as a software. Um, after we, um, we pull the data from the government, we, um, come, we, um, we tidy it up so the user can see it more simply and more um, into it uh, more comprehensively so they can understand their health statuses. And through that, they can do a continuous post healthcare about their health statuses that came out from the results of health checkups and screenings. Um, this is um, what Kinduk platform do. It connects the hospital with the patients that are trying to do a health checkup and also accumulates the data from the results and centralize and personalize it to the users that can uh, make them understand their health statuses more simply and more clearly. Now, this is where the Kinduk solution comes in. Kinduk solution it supports the post management best, uh, based on checkup data. So after you get checkups from the uh, uh, from the checkup centers, and also um, after you uh, visualizing it for, through the app, um, the monitoring system and also um, the different kind of pace um, the rec re recording system um, inside the Kinduk solution, which I'm going to show you afterwards. Keep track of your health after the health screening, which makes you able to manage your health statuses and also talk with cl clinicians or health expertise about how your status is improving or how you're managing your health statuses. Through that, the clinicians or the health expertise are able to make more precise and more um, up-to-date um, decisions about the patient's health, enabling, to, enabling them to assist the health of the patient. That was the Kinduk platform I showed you um, earlier. It is a device that makes you choose different kinds of checkup categories uh, from different kinds of centers and checkup hospitals and making you able to visualize the different kinds of records and also statuses that you have and see them through graphs or visual images and um, actually understand what you're going through, what your health is improving or decreasing what kind of um, positions or actions you need to do um, to improve the statuses. Uh, right now, our platform in Korea um, have more than 230 affiliated hospitals. We have more than 3,000 checkup products that you can choose, which meets um, what kind of um, health status you need to um, keep pace, uh, keep up with. Uh, we are number one in healthcare eight, um, app download and we are growing a thousand percent in um, transaction volume, and we are having 335% retention. So our platform is growing. We are growing um, 1.2 and up to 1.3 million users, and the data are keep on collecting, and also it's keep on stacking up. So we're able to use the data to analyze and also um, give patients some kind of um, insights about what they have to do to keep their health um, life healthier. Now, if the kind of platform helps you take health screenings, as I told you before, um, Kinduk solution, which is we are trying to show you at CES, helps you manage it and also talk with the clinicians and also medical expertise that can give you advices. Kinduk is not just one product, it's a whole system. It consists of Home Doctor, which is a whole a mobile app, which you can keep um, check of your medical records. Second is a monitoring system, which the clinicians and also the medical expertise use. And lastly, there's a home um, health coaching system, which is not only just a robot, but also different kinds of devices that can take um, different kinds of records of your daily life, life body. First of all, I want to um, introduce you to one part of our Kinduk solution, which is the home doctor. It is a mobile app, just like the platform, but the difference is the platform you can um, make um, 
appointments at health care centers and also screenings. But this is more likely to make an appointment with clinicians and expertise and also keep track of your health statuses. Um, as you see on the right, uh, left, right, uh, left top corner, um, you can see the different kind of graphs of your health statuses and also biological measurements that are taken through by some devices that are linked with our app. Um, you can see different kind of what kind of pills and also diagnosis you had with hospitals or pharmacies. Um, you can have an AI symptom check with this powered with AI system engine um, that can um, that is um, that analyzes different kinds of excuse me different kinds of um, diagnosis and also symptoms that came from other patients that we are stacking and also analyzing. And also there's an AI pre-surgery symptom checkup, which is something that you take before surgery. Um, to um, avoid any kind of um, um, any kind of um, pre-surgery uh, circumstances or um, some um, hazards. Now, after the um, the patient have um, take pace of what their health statuses are, they're going to want some kind of expert uh, um, experts comments or counseling. This is where the monitoring comes in. Um, the monitoring helps the clinicians see a bird's eye view of what the patients are going through, what their health statuses are. Just like the patients, they can see the patient's health records on the bottom right corner. Uh, we can show you different kinds of illness or um, pre-diagnosis pre they have um, through the main image in the center um, by different kinds of organs or body parts. And on the left, you can um, communicate with the patient directly um, by face-to-face uh, -face video calling. This makes the patients have a more expert, expertise comments on their health, which makes them more, um, more confident about what they're doing and also more advices and insights about what they should do and take action on their health life. So um, they can keep track of their health records and they can also get health um, comments. Now what they need to do is management their health in daily life. This is where the healthcare coach comes in. Healthcare coach is um um is consists of various kinds of um items, but the main item is the home doctor um AI robot, which um analyzes your. It's not just the robot; it's the software inside it, and analyzes the different kinds of um health system uh, symptoms and also the status that is collected through the mobile app, and it gives you advices by voice um actions or different kinds of um, visualized um, data through the face um, monitor. And also we have um, blood pressure uh, pressure cuffs, uh, body composition scales, a uh, sugar blood sugar monitors, and also the cardiac rhythm uh, measurements that are all linked to our app and also our mobile devices that take care uh, that takes tracks of your biological uh, rhythms and also your statuses. Through all these three systems, we're looking for a more healthier management of the patient's um, health circumstances and, and also a better view and a more um, clear view of what the patient is going through that makes sure the, uh, the clinicians um, are able to make a more consistent and more um, precise diagnosis to their patients and also assessment. So through the platform and also our solution and also the um, items inside our solution, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to change the world? Well, first of all, we are, um, I would like to point out some, um, some of the a movement inside our health markets that actually um, provides us able to make this vision come true. Um, the healthcare market that we are right now looking at is transforming from the diagnosis and the treatment of health to the market of precaution and management. The health market is um, developing very fast on the technological part. So it is not, um, the diagnosis and treatment is also important, but the health, uh, the precaution and management are increasing more rapidly. We are able to prevent illness before we get it treated. And that's why we are trying to keep um, the patients monitored about their health statuses. So continuous growth is expected in the future health checkup and screening market because the patients want to keep up with their health statuses. And, the, and we just quite, just, um, we just um, don't seem to be clear about what kind of solutions they are about the overwhelming amount of data that is coming up, um, out from this um, enormous amount of um, health screening and checkups. So most crucial effect here is that the collection of the scattered 
scattered medical data. That is what we are trying to do. We're trying to collect the medical data uh, by that was only managed by the experts or uh, certain institutions and personalize it and centralize it to the users, which have the ownership of that data. We are con uh, continuously trying to enhance diagnosis support system, which is the monitor system or the assistance system that are given to the clinicians and, and accumulating data from increasing health screenings. We're tracking, managing, and analyzing personalized data. We provide services in the field that I showed you before. So um, as a conclusion, we dream of a world where the users and doctors can easily and conveniently engage in healthcare management together, uh, which is getting more and more um, more and more um, difficult and also hard for normal people to understand. Um, this vision isn't only viewed by us, it is also viewed by the government and also different kinds of institutions all around the world. Uh, we have different kinds of uh, patents and trademarks, copyrights and certificates that shows that our vision is actually um, some a lot that is engaged with a lot of um, groups and also institutions. And we're trying to make this vision come true to make more healthier and more enrichable life for everyone, everywhere and all around the world. Well, that will be all for my presentation. Thank you for listening. And that'll be all. Thank you very much. That was a great presentation. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So um, I have some questions. Um, and um, so I'd like to understand, so uh, you mentioned that you're working with about 300 hospitals. And yes. let's say I'm one patient in one of those. So the user system, uh, but if I later, maybe in two years or three years, I move to a different hospital, uh, they might have a different system, right? So now my records will be uh, split across two systems. Is that correct? Um, um, actually, um, that question can be answered by um, the some of the words that I showed you in the presentation. We actually, the status are, um, collected by the government. So there's there's a data hub that collected um, different kinds of data from the government. And then it's open to certain certified groups or in, in, uh, or, um, so companies um, that are certified to use it. So um, even though the hospital changes, the EMR system that are um, co connected to the government data hub is collected in one place and centralized. And we use that to personalize it to the users. So even though the hospital changes, the users are able to um, uh, use their uh, health data that are from different kinds of hospitals or pharmacies or so on. Okay, okay, I see. So any certified company will have, uh, is granted access by the government. And because you have access, you can read the data and simplify it. And that's where your value is. Yes, um, but so um, you make, besides that, I mean, and you can analyze and all that. Okay. Oh, so um, if I just um go on with it, um, we have accumulated about three hundred um hospitals that are partnership with us. So through the partnership, we are able to get a more faster reaction. So after they get their health screening, we are able to get the full size view of what they have the results, um, through the hospital directly, but um. If not, we're able to get them from um from the government. So um it's the it differs about what kind of details and also the speed, but um uh eventually um, viewing it, we get the data from the centralized government. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, okay. So if you can get the data before, then your reaction time is faster. Correctly, yeah. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to write some notes. Okay, and then in the uh, healthcare coach, uh, you mentioned three like sensors. There was the blood sugar, the heart rate, and then there was the third one that I missed. Blood sugar and heart rate and uh, blood pressure cuff. So it takes blood pressure. Oh, blood pressure. And also uh, body composition mm, skills. Okay, it's like in body. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah. 
and there's also body composition skills, which is like an in body, which uh, takes um, measurements of your health, um, your height, your weight, um, and also your uh, muscular and also your fat and et cetera. Okay. Uh, okay. So is there, so how do you deploy it in like outside of Korea? Because like, for example, in the US, we don't have the, the checkup system. Um, so maybe we don't, we don't have as much data. I'm not sure. Um, so on overseas, um, the first one we're trying to do is, um, monitoring the, um, post care that are taken from Korea and that moved out seas, which are maybe some Korean workers or Korean immigrants that are overseas, or maybe some um, overseas uh, foreigners that want to um, uh, 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 that want to take um, some Korean medical um, treatments, or maybe it can be a plastic surgery. Um, it can be some simple diagnosis or different kinds of illness you had in Korea. That's the first. Um, that's the first step we want to take overseas. Um, the second step is that we want to make partnerships with overseas uh, health checkup um, centers and also hospitals and, and institutions um, that can make us um, utilize data, as I told you, not through the government but direct directly, and utilize it more promptly. Um, I understand the um, EMR system and also the data, health data system is different from Korea and also the different parts of country, uh, countries all around the world. Um, that's why we want to start from one step to another and start um, enlarging our partnerships with different parts of um, the world. And maybe if it's possible, we're able to move on to the next step, which we can make a data uh, pool, a hub of um, as, as our government is doing right now. And maybe we can be the center of it, analyzing and also connect, collecting and personalizing it. And maybe if you're possible, um, in Korea, we have uh, we um, established a health screening center ourselves by our company. So maybe if the infrastructure is not um, able in overseas, we're able to move our, um, we are able to duplicate our health screening um, institution to different kinds of countries and establish it there, making it our system, uh, ecosystem that can move around and also connect with each other. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure it's going to take some some time before it is. Um, yes. You can like expand a lot because it's very long and uh, quite tedious. Um, so in Korea, what's your business model? So who pays you, and what kind of revenues? What, what's uh, what's generating your revenues? Is it subscription devices, both? Oh well, the first of all, the main um, main fees that we get is um, we we get um, a health management fee, which is a, a small percent of the health screening. Uh, we use it to um, collect data and also show you the data, and that's um, that's why we collect the fees, um, a small a portion of the health screening amounts. Um, this is used for um, health managing, also the data, collecting the data, utilizing, and also um, saving the data. And the second of all we use is B2B platform, which companies, uh, large companies as Samsung Life or different kinds of companies in Korea, uh, partnership with our, um, with our system. And what they're trying to do is make their whole company family take health screening and also health checkups annually and show their health statuses through the mobile app or PC, which the, also the company um, uh, the company people can also view. And through that, they can take um, records of how healthy their um, employees are living and how they're keeping up with their health welfare. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so that's our second revenue that we are trying to look up. And the third revenue that we're developing right now is um, different kinds of ads and also um, promotions and also events that we're trying to use. But that's actually in development stage. So I can't say it's practical yet, uh, but we're still working on different kinds of business um, models and platforms. 
So how long do you keep the? Oh, so are, are you do you keep a copy of the data in your own uh, server? Uh, yes. Um. The um the data is served through our server, but actually the um the government data isn't. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, it is saved through our server and is presented to the users, which is all encrypted. And also, um, there's a very difficult uh, um authentication that you have to go through. Your mobile authentication, your ID authentication, your um pin number authentication. There's different kind of phases that actually protects you from keeping your health data more safe and um, um more protected. So through that, we um serve the data to the patients and only the patients. And also the clinicians and the expertise that are authorized and also um, appointed from the patient. I see. Okay. Yeah. I, I was wondering because um, uh, in your business, if you have a one time fee for a checkup, but then you have to pay for the data storage and, and computing for a long time, then it's. Um, it's challenging to to kind of like earn more money, basically. Yeah, it is. It is. So, um, it isn't a continuous spend. It's um one time spend that you do when you um, um you uh, make order for a health screening or health checkup, and through that, it's a continuous monitoring system. So, after that, afterwards, um, it is um just uh, keep on monitoring, and you just keep on doing health checkups over and over again. So we're looking for the health ecosystem, as I told you, a virtual circle that are keeps on flowing. Okay. And so would you be able to tell me if um, uh, other companies do this type of products as well? I mean, how's the competitive landscape? Oh, well, actually, um, the, the major company that are based on healthcare that are um, started way before us, um, are doing this kind of um, platform which it connects um, users and hospitals for their health screening. But actually, our company is the number one in health screening and also healthcare right now in the apps. Uh, we're trying to uh, make the uh, make it more impossible to follow up. Um, why why is it possible? Is that um, we were the first one to accumulate the data from the government and also utilize it. We are able to make the app more visualized and also prompt and also simplify it to the users for them to be more easier to use and more friendlier to use. Uh, we That's why we try to focus on the design of the app as well as the quality of the app for the users to be more friendlier and more usable to the users. That's why are the users' retentions are keep on increasing and also the users are increasing in our services. And we're trying to make a more visualized um, 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 of your data, of your health statuses with graphs or different kind of pictures that can help you understand. So if I uh, wrap everything, um, simplify everything, we're trying to make it more easier to the users and more um, able for them to understand their health without expertized views or um, explanations. That's why the difference we got and the mo more pro prompts we got. Um, compared to other companies. I understand. Okay, so it's really the, the user experience that... It is, it is. Okay, cool. That was my last question. So thank you so much for your answers and for the great presentation. Thank you, Robert. I'm, I'm so glad to participate here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. 감사합니다. 네, 감사합니다.